Um, so the fumbles and the stutters cannot be blamed on the water in East Palestine because he was doing that long before he took the sip of water. He didn't spend a ton of time there, a long overdue but not a long visit. But Jason Chavitz, you actually went to East Palestine, Ohio on your own out of curiosity almost a year ago, long before President Biden decided to go. When you were there, what did you see and what were your concerns? Well, remember, when the disaster happened, it was actually Donald Trump who went there first. Yeah. Three weeks after the attack, then, you know, Wonder Boy uh, Pete Buttigieg showed up three weeks after. Notice that Pete Buttigieg didn't show up with the president, you know, a year later. I happened to go in April. Wonderful people, super nice, gorgeous town. Um, but when I walked the streets, there was not a single person walking outside. The only two people that I saw outside were actually uh, assessing getting air quality uh, readings off of some meter. But it is an embarrassment to the country to have the president of the United States make a promise to go and then say his excuse was, I'm too busy. I'm too overwhelmed. There's a lot of things going on at the White House. Meanwhile, how many times do we see him out at the beach, you know, sunning and getting tans right. out on that beach? Well, and then to show up for a couple hours, it just doesn't cut it. And those people know it. They needed help. They still need help and they haven't gotten it. Well, speaking of the people, we actually have Sarah Carter, an exclusive she did with Hannity, talking to those residents. Let's take a listen. And then, Raymond, I want to get your thoughts on uh, their excitement about Jim. Uh-oh. What was your first impression when you heard President Biden was coming to East Palestine. I laughed. I said, why? Why? They don't even probably don't even want him here anymore. Is it too little too late now well, that he's of course showing? It is. Yeah, he's he's only here because it's election year. Obviously. How does that make you feel? Well, he doesn't care. He doesn't care about little people. This is a political stunt with Biden. I mean, all of a sudden, a year later, now he all of a sudden cares. No, I, you know that I, I don't buy it. Raymond, they, they like Donald Trump from what it appears in East Palestine, Ohio. Because well, he showed up. Exactly. They probably, maybe that's the reason why he didn't go sooner, because they weren't advantageous to him at that time. But what do you make of their reaction and what they think now, of the president? Look, these poor people in East Palestine, they, they, they're worried about the contamination of their town. They went through one toxic spill. Then Biden shows up and gives them another one when he opens his mouth. He gets there, and there's a moment that we, we really haven't covered where he gets to the site of the derailment and he goes, OK, wh 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 what do we got here? What do we got here? They like, sir, they're like, sir, this is the site. And he goes, the site? He was totally clueless. The speech he gave was rambling and confusing and I think insulting to those poor people. And that's why you see this reaction. They do need help. They do need to be ensured that their water is clean and that their land is not contaminated. And the government has been slow to act here. It's been kind of left to the railroad to make up the difference. Sorry, they, they, they need to be fully engaged. And just very quickly, Navalny in death has a clearer message than Joe Biden in life. And that's a great tragedy. You're absolutely right about that. But you brought up, Jason, you brought up Pete Buttigieg, what I think is interesting. He obviously didn't accompany the president, maybe trying to keep himself a, a little clean for a future <laughs> run for something. We don't know. But we've got, again, more poll numbers telling us that the American people not only think Biden's too old, but more and more are thinking he's not going to be the nominee. I mean, Anita, you cover this and the changing dynamics of this. What do you make of the American people not so sure that Biden's actually gonna be on the ticket come November? Yeah, well, I think that that discussion has been going on for some time, right? There have been uh, lots of conversations about, well, who would it be if Biden doesn't make it to November? Will it be Kamala Harris or will it be someone else? Will it be a Gavin Newsom? Uh, well, you know, we just, we don't know. Um, I think it's one day at a time with this administration. But let me just say this. I want to just give the flip side about East Palestine, Ohio. And I agree it's a day late and a dollar short. And it most likely it could be a political stunt. But at least it did put the focus back on East Palestine, Ohio for a day. Because as Jason said, there are still real problems there. People are still out of their homes. So if the president's visit did nothing else, at least it put that back in the headline for another day. But what do you think, Jason, because even with what he said and putting it back in the headlines, which is great, these right. people need to be remembered. Yeah. But again, promising that he's going to do something, I'm not so sure I'd be confident if I were them. He needed to take action when it happened. That's when it really mattered, not the photo op. No. Right. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.